Welcome everybody. It's Saturday, May 13th, day before Mother's Day. We are in Detroit at the Henry Ford Museum, Greenfield Village. Check it out. It's not a hidden secret. No. Everybody knows about it. Kind of underestimated how many cars were going to be in this parking lot, so we parked on the grass. Last time we parked on the grass, not here. We got a ticket, so like everybody else was doing it, so we did it, and we got a ticket. But that's Kenosha. This is Michigan. <laughs> this is Michigan. Pure Michigan. This is not the pier part. This is the glove part. <laughs> the pier is the better part. We've already seen Thomas the train going past. A couple other locomotives. And we are walking and we're walking. You can see the Ford plant. You can see the Independence Hall replica. Let's go check it out. Let's take a look over the brick wall. Not only do the wavy brick walls look cool, but it allows them to get away with one row of bricks. Do you hear a choo-choo? See Thomas? Let go. Let go? Let's see this. It's a soybean laboratory. There's stuff. The beakers and the Bunsen burners. Bunsen. This isn't a Oh, look, the train. Laboratory. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Look at this thing. Everything's got numbers and information. He's up here. <laughs> and summertime, they harvest. Springtime, they plow. So much stuff. That's the outside of the soybean laboratory. All right, we are here. This place is huge. Look at all that. Hi. 
All right, so far, this place is reminding me a little bit of old world Wisconsin with a little bit of Union Train Museum mixed in with it. It's way bigger than you would think. It's definitely a two day thing with that in the museum. Holy cow. But I can understand why everybody's here on this Mother's Day weekend. The shingles on this house are awesome. It's Looks like Slade. You look like Slade. It's not Slade, it's Slade. Oh, Slade. This stove behind me is super hot because it's powered by coal, coal? so that's why I'm standing here. Feel free to step right over. Uh -huh. Hi there. This is Harvey Firestone's childhood home. Okay. That's 1885 is how we're presenting it. Hello. Stove is super hot. So what we're doing is we just have our dinner in the oven, which we're going to eat at noon uh -huh. from 12 to 1. All the farmers will come in. We'll all eat it. Uh, we're making a meat pie and some bread, and I'm going to start on an omelet. Come on in, come on in. They're making meat pies. It's super hot. He's so bitchy. Yeah, the Are you shy? It's a little warm, so I'll just have yes. to walk right by the stove. Along the railroad. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's what it does. It's a farm. Little <laughs> little <slam. laughs> so did everybody get a chance to go into the barn and see the babies yet? <laughs> we just got here. We literally just got here. Oh, we had our first lamb last Saturday. And then one was even born yesterday, so like 12 hours old and standing up front in the barn. So don't leave without that and then you'll see our chickens yeah so it is 1885 as i was saying a second ago it's harvey firestone's childhood home do you guys know who harvey firestone is yeah do you he, he, he came to our school <laughs> well, that would have been super cool if he did. The tire, the tire people. The tire people. Nice. So when you see the Model T cars driving around, Harvey Firestone's <laughs> Tire Company put all the tires on those. Fifty We're just making dinner. Chess. Yes. 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 No. Oh, I like right. This I like this house. So, wow. The guy who made Firestone tires, you know, Firestone tires. Those are the ones that are blowing up and blowing out, right? <laughs> oh my God. It does. It smells like butter and it smells like bread. Wow. Oh, like me. This is where we cure our meats. <laughs> Probably a salt thing in there, huh? Yeah. I like it. Welcome. Flooring? Flooring. I think we need to have flooring for oh. one. I think we need to repaint. And repaint. We need to paint, but I love all the sh built in shelves. Built in shelves? We have nice built in shelves. That's kind of nice to store this key when you come from a big family. We'll put our, put our pops up there. But anyways, the meat curing room. They used to put preservatives and put their meat in the salts to preserve it because we didn't have refrigerators back then. Made it. Logan. There's a cock. Oh my. Here in some sheeps. 
Did she win it? All right, the Firestones Barn. All right, Firestones, German descent. Guys said eating sheep and mutton was beneath them. Cute, and they shouldn't get slaughtered. And second of all, they just didn't taste so good. Yeah. I don't really. I love me some gyro meat. Mm. <laughs> what about you? Some gyros? I don't know what they taste like, but I want to try them. <laughs> You've never had a gyro? I have. Oh man, you're missing out. Well, I well, I want to join in on the fun. <laughs> all so right. Can I like have one? <laughs> yeah, we'll get one next time. Buying in, uh, shearing the sheep's the wool. All right, let's go look at the Firestone's animals. Did you guys get haircuts today? Sheep. You got to see the baby sheep. I got to see the baby sheep. Yeah. So cute. There was four. I love them. I don't know them, but I love them. Yeah. They look very tasty. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? Veal? That's not veal yeah, yet. Veal's right? baby cow. That's lamb. Lamb is lamb. But they don't they? I don't know. A mean practice where they don't allow them to build muscle. But. I think it goes across. There. So that was the Firestone barn, Firestone's house. So that's what making tires and being best friends with Henry Ford gets you. Yeah. It's pretty. It's a pretty little house. Because when he's like itty bitty, like teenager when he was living there. What, Firestone? That's what they were saying. Oh. That was his childhood home. Is that the childhood home? Yeah. Obviously, probably one bigger, right? Making some cider, apple cider. These are Hamilton years, 1800s. Cider. I could go for some apple cider right now. Every, every, everyone's like, oh, I'm so thirsty and stuff. Never win. We are winging it. Yeah. We are just exploring. We have nothing, no, no destination. No map. We filmed the map in the beginning. I could look at that, but we're just going to explore it and see what we can see. Liberty Craft Works. So, what is this? The cotton gins and the metal working and stuff? Ryan, put them down. <laughs> Right. A wood fired kiln. It's where you make potteries and plates and stuff. All right. We got a sawmill. 1800s. That's Hamilton years, right? It's like the old Home Depot. It's where you get your two by fours, your two by sixes, and your four by fours. Powered by steam. 20 horsepower steam engine. Mm. 
and down in motion on your way. 1855, J. Blue Trail constructed this miracle saw in the tip of Michigan. Look at that big old saw blade. Chopping through the wood. Sawdust produced during the milling operation was used to fire the boiler. Ooh, they're using the sawdust to fire the boiler. Waste not, want not. Hey, my family. Bustling sawmill. 1876. Yeah? They didn't just go to Home Depot and buy it? This is very expensive. It's expensive? They're sitting on a gold mine of lumber. Lumber. That was it. That was like one thing with Henry Ford and them. They bought a bunch of... They bought a bunch of forests to build all these cars because all the cars were made out of wood at one point. So... He was very, he was very smart in that aspect. He bought up a whole bunch of property what was it up in upper michigan was it oh yeah a lot of trees and stuff also, up there uh, uh, wisconsin too remember when we were out in where were we remember we went i i thought it was it was up by the pasty shop yes, there was a whole was. bunch of yeah, stuff about henry ford right. so that so, was in wisconsin that was michigan right. so all those henry ford firestone and all these other guys would all go up to the upper peninsula and stuff and hang out so there's history up there by Pitchard Rock and stuff about them. By this little pasty shop that we went to. Pasties? Past, pasties? Pasties. 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 Smells like dog food, I told them. And that's just the pasties. That's just the pasties. Making this with the big old sawmill. We got wood. We got wood. They got band iron too? Jeez. This is how you fix all the old houses wants to walk but he doesn't want to walk where we want him to walk so he is getting put back in the stroller wood so, and we got a printing office here looks like they're doing something inside this so let's see hello And that was to typeset what you were going to print. So we typeset in here, and it's taking individual letters and any images that we want to have, which you can carved or etched or engraved, and assembling them into a frame that we put on the bed of the press. Nice. That's cool. Would you like to have what we just printed? Look at that. Yes, I would like that. Thank Some you. silk screening. Thank you, sweetie. It's almost. similar to almost. silk screen. It's called relief <laughs> printing. Yeah. And awesome. this is because the thing you print has to stand up in relief. Okay. So if I want multiple colors, I would need multiple forms with the different areas uh, in relief on um, yeah. each color. So that would be rare. <laughs> <laughs> Two different colors. <laughs> yes. So you might do a single color that's not black, but that also is rare because it's harder to read and more expensive to make. Mm. Right. So mostly it's black. There's the press. It? What was it made out of? The ink? Uh, the ink, if you made it yourself, would be your own formula, but it would probably be linseed, linseed oil, rosin, manganese, and lamp black, which is soot. You have shoes? Look at that. Mom, I have long ones. That's so yeah. cool. Mom, mom, mom. All aboard. That's Mother's Day. Mom, mom. Now, if you're not a book publisher, uh, you're in a little country office. You don't want to maintain that big machine. Right. And you don't need a thousand copies. So <laughs> this is what you had in the <laughs> That was my least favorite thing to do in graphic arts class was the press oh, you thing. you did graphic arts? You didn't yeah. like the press? You <laughs> liked uh, setting up like, the design. Yeah, like you get to have that big palette and then you can put all the letters and stuff. You have to be really good at spelling. Well, it's like it yeah. put the metal on the on the wheel and then have it run it like every other one went crooked or something so so half of the notepad i was making i had to throw out and stuff i still have a little of that too <laughs> uh, learned anything about uppercase and lowercase letters yes 
Do you know why they call them uppercase and lowercase letters? Nice. The okay. uppercase so is above the lowercase letters. And the case he's talking about is this kind of case. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not looking. So this is one font, one point size. And all the drawers in the corner back there are other fonts and point sizes. And as a printer, you would learn this case. You know where all the letters are. Yeah. And some of the designs of cases separated Okay. Upper and lower came about, as you say, because the uh, majuscule were up above yeah. and the minuscule were down below. Love. And uh, this is just a different case design where all of it's in one. Yeah. I want one of these at home. <laughs> this is so cool. Well, you know, they're on the market. You go on the web and you can buy presses, letters, galleys, cool. composing Hi. sticks. Mom, you want this one? You get a really cool press. I did. It's the printing office. Hey, they'll get you something to drink. This spot. Look, there's a whole section over here. I bet you they have drinks in there. All right, so this will take the wool that they did and they'll straighten it out into what? Thread or something like that? So tedious. I'm scared to open it. Let's go look. Let's go look in a window because it's locked. Yeah, I, I, no, I think I'm not, I'm not using enough pressure. You can. Yeah. Looks like it. All right, the glass shop. We're going to the glass shop. Blown glass. Feel that heat. products here. You can buy these in the gift shop. Look at that guy. That is so cool. That's awesome.
lot of Thomas stuff going on here. Whole bunch of Thomas merchandise and stuff to buy. Bouncy houses. Blow up Thomas over here. Watch Justin Scar's video of this. I barely scratch the surface of it. Like everything I'm seeing, I don't even remember seeing in his video. So you didn't have a lot of time here. So we might come back tomorrow so we can concentrate all on Greenfield today. But right now, we're getting drinks. Right. Ooh. We got Arnie, Arnie Palmer. Palmer. I want half and half. Damn. Arnie Palmer. Don't mind if I do. The other thing is the lemonade stand is the cotton candy stand. So I was telling her, the viewers, even though we watched Justin go here, I don't even really think we've seen any of the parts that Justin's was at. Everything seems new. Yeah. Right? Got the rotating train platform behind us that I want to see after we get our drinks. So do you think we're going to care about Thomas being here? Sir Topham Hat? For us, us personally? That's he, personally, yes. Well, I don't think any of the kids like Thomas or anything. We don't. Yeah, they don't really watch Thomas. Either. No, Logan watched when he was really little, but no. Yeah, they do it at the uh, Union train station, but we've never gone because we don't we try not to go when events like this are going on. I've been once to the, Tom the Thomas train. Yeah, yeah. Logan was little. Yeah, I think that's coming up at Union, Illinois. Where they did, did the Easter thing, and then they got uh, the diesel trains, and they got Thomas Days, and they got a kid, our kid chasing the bubbles. And then they got a Christmas thing, which is pretty cool, that we want to go to. So. The petite fleet. A little cloudy. Still a pretty day. Peaks of blue every once in a while, but a, little, a lot going on. Games and tent kiosks and little stands, food stands and stuff. Arnie Palmer. Toasted coconut lemonade. Lemonade. Thank you. Mm. No, I'm just trying it's to... a paintbrush. Oh, do we bring this for dinner? Yeah. A big sledgehammer. Mm -hmm. Bing. Is it Edison? I think that's just Thomas's food. Is this for Chuggington list? No. Is it Thomas? Yeah. And Percy? Yeah. <sighs> Percy Jackson? What? She's got the most random things that come out of this kid's mouth. What? Alright, they're gonna rotate the train. There you go. They're moving a train? at 57 tons. These are some strong kids. 
is the roadhouse. Is that where Baby lives? Does Baby live at the roadhouse? Is that what the movie was? Uh, uh, I never watched it. I never watched Baby. <laughs> oh my God. Greenfield Village. This place is awesome. All right. So what was your favorite so far? Um, I like glass blowing and I like the printing press, but I think I like the printing press more. But I do want to stop and get one of the glass thingies at the gift shop later. So if, if they have it, I thought they said, well, they said the stuff they're making now. It's not going to be out until towards the, towards the holidays. Towards the they holidays. have stuff that they make before, so you want to yeah. get okay. We we'll get something that was blown here. Oh, All right. Family show. Can't see. Yeah. Can't All right. So we are gonna go back to the pottery place, and we're gonna we're gonna try to do everything completely. Try not to miss anything. Everything was loaded in that. I know last week about a finger, everything's about a finger width apart. Right, there's the design. Yes, you're right. It's the salt that reacts, it's the sodium in the salt that reacts with the silica that's in the vessel. It's not clay anymore because it has been misfired. So it is a ceramic piece. So it's the salt that reacts with the silica in the ceramic piece. But I watched them in there. There's about, there is 80 cubic feet in there, but it's not 80 cubic feet of items. Uh, probably 30 to 40. By the time they place everything, they shelve everything, they leave enough room around for things for that vapor to travel. Thank you for stopping in. He can build one of those bowls off that hump of clay. Now, when I was here last Saturday, as you know, this is a production facility. The shelves up here were all empty. Now those shelves are full. So they, we have three full-time potters and four part-time decorators that work year-round uh, throughout the week, every week. My mom used to have one of these in our basement. Hello and welcome. Big old fire kiln. Yes, it's a beautiful facility. Thank you for stopping in. Yes, it's a the kilns in there and it reminded me how much of a terrible son I was my mom used to have one in our basement and I would sit there and I would chisel at the the rocker that was around the outside of it until I eventually broke through it and ruined my mom's kiln because she used to make those Christmas trees with the little lights on it and stuff never saw her fire up the kiln but she had one and I ruined it I'm sorry mom for doing that and now being a father you realize how much of a 
a piece you were back in the day. All right, now we're gonna go into the weaving shop. So all that wool and stuff, it all got straightened out. Now we're gonna put it in the cotton gins or whatever, and we're gonna weave, make some blankets. All right. So you're gonna send it through there. Oop. And let's pull that all the way through. Okay, we're gonna beat it back in nice and tight, and then bring it to the bottom, and then send it through. Mm -hmm. So this is how you make fabric. And then we beat it back, and then we send it to the top. Yep. And you just keep going. That looks so fun. Is it fun, Lenny? How are you doing? Careful, careful, you're gonna have to get Yeah, no worries. Hey, we don't worry about dropping stuff here in the uh, weaving shop. <laughs> Glass and pottery is different, but oh. here in weaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair point, fair point, fair We've point. never broke fabric by dropping it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, wait, bring it all the way through before you head to the next one. Oh, hang on, send it through now. There you go. So you guys use the wool that's from the, the, the sheep here? We do not. <laughs> we took we have we took these these with the babies. Yeah. 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 You wanna try? Maybe you can do it. Maybe this is Make it go down. Look. We put it in. Yep. Look at that. All the way. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 There you go. Awesome. Cool. Isn't that cool? See, he's so cute. So, all of you. All right, thank, thank you. Thank you. Folks. That was cool. Thank you. Yeah. So, that is something that Old World doesn't have. I like it's that. It's more modern industrial things. Because, like, at Old World and all that stuff, they have the old. Uh, cotton gins and stuff but they're just in the buildings and they're just sitting there and these are actually functioning things where they make stuff old school and then they can sell it um, they were saying that the, the sheep's wool and stuff they send up to Frankenmuth and they make socks and scarves and stuff out of it and stuff so like what is Frankenmuth is a like a German town German town so that's cool. And where did that guy? So the guy at Sinessa, where we're staying, he said up in Frankenmuth, they have a BLT where they put a pound of bacon on it. And that sounds amazing. So if it wasn't like an hour north, I wouldn't, I would totally go there. But we got a lot to do and only a weekend to do it. So this is, this is this is the uh, what a mill? Yeah. All right, the Ranger Grit Mill. Farmers will be willing to travel a considerable distance to have a miller do the hard work of grinding their wheat and corn and flour and cornmeal. All right. Instead of grinding all your your wheat and stuff and all your cornmeal and stuff, you would take it to these guys and then they would grind it for you. And you had less work to do, but obviously you would have to pay somebody to do your job. Or had to pay a third party. What happened, CJ? Alright, so this is, what is that, like a hopper? Yeah. Very cool. All right. This is the mill. The weirdo. And this would take the mill from below, take it up to the top to go put it into the, that turny, turny thing upstairs. Hey, beautiful lady. Hi. All right. This is a good smell. This place we were just inside. I want you to see. We got Thomas Edison stuff. We got Wright Brothers stuff still to see. 
Where's CJ? We got CJ. We got water mills. Come on, take your water mind. mills. And a little waterfall there. Man-made waterfall. Go check it out. The old mill. So that's the mill that we were just in. A little waterfall. Yeah, so pretty. These are what they're making in the glass blowing place. It's awesome. Rose and custard sounds delicious. Got little carrots in the apron. Black candy. And fudge. Doesn't say where it is. <laughs> Mill Pond. Going in the machine shop in the foundry. Okay, this is a lot bigger than I was thinking it was going to be. Machine shop. Oh, that's crazy cool. It looks, it looks like my dad's garage. Bunch of fittings and pipes. All that. Oh, look at that drill press. Look how big that bit is. Find that at Home Depot? Or is that special order? Uh -huh. Crazy. Look at those belts. Chiching, 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 chiching. Put your hand in there. Chichu, chichu. Chichu. Other table clamps and that is. All right, that was really cool. Look at this. It's big stuff. What is this? What is this? I don't know. What is this? I'm asking you. You should know this. Steam engine, piping. Jesus Christ. My kid is flailing around here. Hitting my cord. Look, it's a big robot head. Yep. There's the parts to build my robot. This would be the... Looks like Archimedes' head. That, that, that would be the head. That would be the minigun. Yeah. That's not happening. No, it's not That's the outside of the machine shop. Did it smell like a machine shop? It smells like grease. I can't smell anything. I can't like smell rust. Nothing. 
<laughs> Look at those trees. The cool trees, huh? Are those your favorite trees? Alright, the glass gallery. What? That is so cool. I don't know. You think anything else is gonna top that thing? That thing's awesome. It is an art. Blowing glass. Ooh. There's a Liddy. Lots of glass. My mom had something like that. I think we have that Tupperware. I think we got those mixing bowls. Naked people. Look at that owl. That's, is this? Look at that, that looks cool. Modern studio glass. Oh, that's cool. Stem. That's crazy looking. Oh, that thing looks so cool. Iridescent. All right, let's do this real quick. This is all very cool. It's a pear. Copper Sentinel. Precious Stone, Jack Schmidt. That is all. Big cube inside a cube. Oh. Cube in a cube. That was right. I named that. Oh, look at that guy. A little side smirk going on here. Oh, this one looks cool. I like the, the steel with the melting glass in there. Looks like a city. Cityscape bowl. That's awesome. More and more. So what was the deal with blue glasses in the windows and stuff? Like spirits or something? Good luck or something? Remember that one video we watched over in like Southern New York where there was a glass museum? Was that? I need, to, I need to remember that, but there's a whole museum of glass and glassworks and stuff that I want to try next time. I don't know if it was in Virginia or if it was in just southern New York or something. What's up? All right, so I don't know if this is always open to people, but it's a little behind the scenes of the stables and stuff where the workers have all the other cars. Horse stables. Now the first thing you do before the harness, of course, is put the collar on. Here's the collar right here. This is Sam's gear. This is a 30-pound, 25-pound collar. You can see how heavy it is. The webs. So how do you put it on a horse's head? Horse is standing right in front of you. You squeeze it right up the nose, over his head. 
and he gladly obliges and lets you put it on. How about this one? This is for a Morgan mare that weighs a half a ton, female. This is for a big boy named Shane that weighs about a ton. Would you like to put a cow on and see what it feels like? You see some horsies? All right, since this video is a little under an hour, I am going to cut it here before we go to Henry Ford's house, the Wright brothers and Edison. So let's end it and we'll have part two. And again, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, hit the little bell so you get notifications and leave a comment and let us know how you like the video.